Well, Merry Christmas to everybody. It's Christmas Eve, and um, I thought what a great time to fire up a um, FT990. Um, they're a really impressive looking radio, these things. I've, um, I actually own a, a few different sort of models around uh, before and after this particular model, and the 990 has always been a bit of a favourite. It's, um, I think, a few features. Um, the antenna tuner has always been something that just seems to be um, ahead of its time. Um, I mean, these days, obviously, there's some um, pretty nice antenna tuners out there, but these these really did a good job. They um, pretty much, um, you know, you hit the start button, it just sat there and went, let's have a look, and then bang, there, it's done. Um, and um, I'm actually on an antenna that's about uh, at least a good meg and a half out at the moment, or meg, sorry, out at the moment, and uh, um, so that wasn't uh, too bad, actually, just to, to see that do that, but... Um, I'm on an antenna at the moment, and not much is happening on 10 metres, which is um, a bit of a bother. Uh, VK3 Charlie Mike uh, listing on 28490, if anybody's about. VK3CM listing 490, 28490. <coughs> Excuse me. So, um, the band is uh, quietened down a bit. It was uh, rocking and rolling the last few days. Actually, we had some fantastic signals into, um, into Europe and the USA, and um, it, it's been... Certainly, uh, and a lot of it on phone too, which has been a lot of fun. Me, I'm a bit of a old school phone sort of guy. I mean, I play a bit of FT8 and bits, but I'm more of a, a phone guy, uh, which is always a bit of fun. So, you'll probably, uh, those that know me know I've got a few FT990s. So, the one you're looking at at the moment is one that we're going to uh, move on because I've got another couple of them sitting here, which. Um, as you'll notice, they're all very similar in their um, their description and their their quality as far as the uh, front panels. Absolutely amazing. Um, probably three of the best examples I've ever seen, and uh, uh, very much um, due to a uh, great old mate of mine up in um, Talbingo VK2QR, Mr. Rob. And um, uh, but I definitely don't need three. Uh, <laughs> somehow I. My eyes are bigger than my belly, I think, or something. Is that what they say? Anyway. All right, so um, these things will generally get out, you know, with the age of them, 80 to 100 watts transmit. I'm just harlow test. Yeah, the, and the meters on these are pretty accurate. I'd say 80 to 90 watts sort of out of one of these. Um, and um, that'll vary, you know, from band to band. Uh, obviously, we'll come up a little bit uh, down towards uh, uh, 40 and 80 meters, etc. But... Um, these are they're a really nice touch and feel sort of radio, um, uh, fully featured. Um, the thing I always liked about them was the RX antenna on the front. So if you are playing with loops and, and bits and pieces, um, no rear switches to play with. Just you know keep it plugged in, swap over to it, and it's almost like a you know an antenna switch in, as such. Uh, if you're uh, wanting to um, put a, a receive antenna on for low noise, etc. We sort of mentioned the tuner, very simple operation. Tuner's either in or out. Tunes like so, and obviously tuned at the moment. Memory scan, you've got your um, um, RIT, um, XIT, clarifier, notch, and uh, shift. Um, digital um, filter here, um, quite effective. Um, not effective when you haven't got a signal to look at. <laughs> Some, but uh, yeah, look, <clears throat> on a signal, oh, and actually the notch there, you can hear it swing from there. But um, I'll just um, I'll just go down. I put in memory earlier. Um, often I use 27 megs as a reference for um, having a listen to how the band's going. Somewhere I put. Here we go. All right. Uh, I won't transmit on here with this one. Oh. Oh, I know what I'm doing. Sorry. Um, I need to go to memory first. Yes. There we go. Okay. So. Um, yeah, it's even quiet there. Wow. Okay, so it's not even really uh, happening on 27 as well. Um, uh, without speaking out of school, this one does um, uh, TX on um, uh, all bands. Uh, a lot of them were, they were an EEPROM. EEPROM? Uh, yeah, I think they were an EEPROM mod on these. I, I don't think they were cut a diode. i um, uh, trying to remember now. But um, anyway. Uh, oh, i got a voice in the background there, but... Sorry, I just made sure I didn't leave the receive antenna on the in position. Won't receive much then <laughs> with no antenna. But uh, I'll just come off that notch position. 
Yeah, no, the band's pretty dead. I might just go down to 40 metres and just have a little look. Uh, wrong antenna for it, but that being said, you never know what you might just hear if you kind of move around. She's a real warmer, a warmer day uh, today, um, and, um, and the band is just being a little bit, a bit average, to be honest. Um, no, there's not much happening on 40 either. Now, 20 metres, we... Oh, this antenna's going to be the problem. Yeah, no, no, nothing really much happening. All right, well, this is not the most um, alive video that I've done as far as uh, the band and its operation, but um, if I go back to where the most likely uh, operation will be, um, <laughs> strangely enough, um, <laughs> don't laugh, but often that's um, where I sort of can do a quick uh, listen test and just say, well, okay, how's this thing sort of hearing, you know, before I put it on the analyzer? Um, it's... Uh, uh, it's a quick sort of hit to be able to go, yep, working, not working, um, as far as the uh, receiver. Okay, so what else? Um, uh, pretty much uh, memories you've got. I'm just uh, trying to remember now how many. 90. 90. Uh, 89, 90, I suppose. 90. Um, and um, uh, Rob's had this fitted out with the... He's just got basically a whole lot of AM stations in there. Uh, so anyway, feel free to, you know, sort of think about what you could put in those. Um, and, uh, oh, there was a feature on this radio I really, really liked. Um, I don't know whether you guys chase FM repeaters at all, but I do. I love it. Um, so let's say we go, um, well, <clears throat> let's enter a frequency in of um, uh, 29 decimal, uh, 620, uh, enter. Now, the great thing about this radio uh, as you can squelch it, number one, which is good. <laughs> so we're now on an FM repeater. But um, they actually had a 100 KC repeater button. So basically, if I wanted to try and get into 620, what's that, South Australia, I think. Um, uh, basically, I can just go into it and VK3 Charlie Mike testing on 29 uh, 620. Um, now, nothing coming in at the moment, unfortunately. But, um, uh, you know, look, it, it's so handy, that switch. Um, you, when you start to get through a few radios you'll realize that not many of them actually uh, did this uh, it was a um, fantastic feature um, and we'll actually review the um, the other brother to this one uh, which I've got sitting over the other side of the room here uh, and I can't remember as I go on the side here if they did the same thing um, they certainly were programmable uh, for all your um, splits and bits and pieces but I'm just having a very quick look at the um, FT650, and uh, no, I don't think they carried through with that button. I can't see it. I might be going blind. Oh no, no, yes, they did. Sorry, sorry. I'm, I'm, a, I'm asleep. There it is. There, if it can focus. Repeater button. See, and once again, they're just handy little things to save you a lot of time. And you know, if you're on the fly and you haven't got something programmed in memory, then you know that repeater button. You know, versus having to set splits and bits and pieces like that, um, much, much, uh, much easier. <laughs> anyway, uh, the little flap uh, on the top here uh, has all your um, um, deviation controls, so you can actually set your FM mic gain, your Vox, um, uh, quite a few little, uh, few bits and pieces, uh, carrier point, uh, and obviously your backup batteries in there as well. But um, uh, not something you've got to go into very often. Once you've set your FM deviation, it's sort of set and forget. But um, these radios, I always thought the 990 and the 650 um, for um, uh, for FM actually were very good. You know, like you really could chase, um, obviously, with the 650, um, um, probably more six meter repeaters. But um, um, but I I've got to say, you know, look, these um, both both radios, um, uh, whether it's 10 meters or six meters, uh, they're just superb on FM. Uh, they really hear beautifully into the noise. So okay, so really it's not overly exciting um, in regards to giving you much more of a breakdown there a really easy radio to navigate perfect for the the person who's uh, possibly um, oh, let's turn that squelch down there um, person who's just getting into the hobby but you know what I say that but as I said this is one of my favorites so you know I shouldn't put I shouldn't be calling it a beginner's radio because it's far from it uh, it really is it does so much more but um, and as you can see you can sort of just do you quick little sort of snips around the place and and um, 
and that will just keep going. As you see, it just went into general coverage there, um, and um, etc. etc. So, um, and once again, any time if you want to put a frequency in, um, uh, if I'm not being stupid, sorry. Um, so I want to. Oh, did it again. I tell you what, going well. Must be Christmas. So let's just do that. So down to 40 meters. Um, let's put it on 115. There we go. And just you know, very easy to move yourself around. Um, um, this antenna, there's no way possible. I'm going to try something on camera that I shouldn't try. I don't think it would tune, but let's try. Let's just see what happens here. How good is this tuner? <laughs> really. Okay, three Charlie mic testing. Yeah, well, there you go. Okay, um, what I said about the tuner, I'll tell you exactly what that is. Uh, it's an Antron A99 um, um, 10, 11 meter antenna, and uh, that thing just um, loved it then. So that's good. That's good. I'm, actually, let's just try that on 20 meters since we're going to play with limits and see what we can do. So we'll hit the tune button again, and we're looking for well, highest power at this. Oh, geez. Geez, that snapped that up really fast. Now, let me go to SWR. That seemed too fast. Let me just... One, two, one, two, one, two. Oh, yeah. No, it is absolutely... Geez. As I said, love the tuners. Um, I wasn't kidding you. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, hello. Probably, yeah, once again, 80, 90 watts output of these things. Okay, so... Um, I suppose I'll take this opportunity just to uh, wish everyone a Merry Christmas. And um, uh, if anybody wants one of these as a Christmas present, well... It's probably got a price attached to it, but um, check out uh, Facebook or um, uh, VK Classifieds. We'll check it on there. Um, as I said, I'm going to keep, for now, I'm going to keep two of them, but I just thought three was getting a bit silly, so somebody else might um, uh, you know, enjoy this. As I said, you know, it's a very clean radio. It's extremely clean. Um, look, I don't mind saying on the video, uh, it, it's going to sell for what it cost me. Um, uh, from Rob, 675 on this one, so uh, if someone's interested... Um, uh, yeah, it's just basically there and able to be um, accessed anytime. All right, 73s, have a great Christmas, guys. Enjoy family, friends, the whole lot, and make sure you rest up. Um, 2020 is upon us very soon. Cheers, all, all the best. VK3, Charlie Mike, or JDW229. Um, please subscribe, and 73s, cheers.